So notoriously, property investments, and this is why sometimes property investments go belly up when they say the market is what we call soft. Okay? The market is soft. So it looks like this. So you went and bought a property that was listed at a million rand, say, for a period of 20 years, say, at an interest rate of 10%, say. Which means your effective bond is 1.1 million. So your effective bond payment is here. But over 20 years, you pay in equal percentages relative to the interest rates attached to that bond a monthly premium, which means the reduction of your interest rate should be all else equal, assuming the interest rate stays the same, a straight line, like so. However, you and I know this, what do properties do if there's a demand for them? They what? They go up. So right now, you bought a property at a million. I would presuppose your property is underwater because you bought it at the retail price and then added an interest rate charge. So you have to wait for the rate of your property value to grow beyond this, this level. That's what you have to do. But in that meantime, you must keep paying back your monthly payments. I get it. So here's what's going to happen sooner or later. The property value is going to increase because you bought here. But the property value should do something like that. Assuming demand exceeds supply. Right? When this point here hits is when you go to the bank. You say, you know, we bought this thing at a million. Your exposure as the bank, because you gave us 10% as an interest charge, is 1.1 million. But the value of the property in the market right now is 1.1 million at this point. Yeah? Then you say, well, your cover ratio is zero. You're taking no further. If you sold today, you'd get your money back. Yeah? Give us more money. The bank's going to tell you, just wait a bit more. And they're probably going to wait until you get to somewhere here. And they'll say, well, the property is now worth 1.4 million. We are happy to extend you an additional 300,000 in credit. That's when you say, thank you. I will take your 300,000 Rand Bank and I will use it as a deposit <laughs> on my next property for 1.1 million. But if I'm putting in a deposit of a property of 1.1 million, what's my net exposure? 800,000. And you're going to follow the same cycle. That's why I said to you, wear the same t-shirt, drive the same car, don't change, fuck all, for five years. Take all that money and reinvest it in this. All else equal, assuming demand exceeds supply, in five years, my friend, you're going to become what we call the Pied Piper. Because here's what's going to happen. You're going to end up with enough properties that people around this area who want, people around this area who all want to rent out student accommodation will go and pitch at universities for tenders for student accommodation, but you'll be the largest owner of the places that accommodate students and they will have to come to you. Shoot.